The defending champions are up next as Furco goes overboard with fish shtick. Seven members parade. Let's get an update now from Tony Yates in the newsroom of WB17 News at 10 or what's 
going on in the world today. Congratulations also to Tony for doing a fine job in the fireworks last night. And if you have any say, you will be the defending champs again next year, huh? Well, that's what we strove for. We went all out to repeat as defending champions. Uh, this, does, this opportunity doesn't come too often. You're fortunate enough to win first prize every few years or so, and to be able to come back and double up, that's what we were after. Bill, you guys knew you were going to do this theme. I came up your club last January 1st in the evening after you won to celebrate with you, and I was told all about this in detail. Exactly right. In fact, we had made this decision back in October of the previous year before we won first prize because we were so excited about the opportunity. Then after we won first prize, we were fortunate enough to win. We said, hey, if we want to ever come back and win two in a row, let's go out with this undersea extravaganza and, and do it as best we can. How did going last up the street come into the equation? We picked it. We wanted to be last. We were defending champions coming in. We knew we were the band to beat this year, as Dick Sharon said last year. So we were the band to beat, and we said, hey, let's go up. Let's all the, lay the cards on the table. Let the bands go first, and we'll be last, and we'll, we'll make it happen. I kept my word. If you guys were goofy enough to go out as fish, I'd be goofy enough to wear this ugly fish tie you on your... <laughs> right, thanks, Happy Nice year. job. Thank Happy you. New Year to you. Go back inside of the booth. Thank you, Tom. And that is confidence. That is confidence. <laughs>